Hello YouTubers, no scope here and welcome to the first part of the uh, refrained said term podcast series with uh what we're gonna call this Nights with No Scorpies. The time is twenty past twelve and for this first video <coughs> I decided I'm going to do a Jeff the Killer voice tutorial for you guys. I'm voice not the best at the moment because my phone's gonna tickle it, but uh <clears throat> I'll try my best to tell you. So, with Jeff the Killer, the voice it depends really on who you're trying to imitate. Obviously, if you're trying to do your own unique voice and do your own thing, but if you're trying to copy um, Mr. Creepy Pasta or Creepy Pasta, I forget which one it is. It's more like um, if I don't get you, I'll get the ones you love. I'll kill them all. One by one. So it's kind of like a quiet tone. It's more like this. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a whisper, kind of. And that's really the only way I can describe it. Uh, now, Mr. Betty Kruger's Jeffrey Keaton. It's like Mark Hamill's Joker mixed with Marilyn Manson when he's performing Sweet Dreams. There's a certain bit where he's like, Sweet dreams are made of thee. His voice goes like that. So if you combine that with Mac Hamill's Joker, and um, make it sound a bit like uh, you're in the middle of an orgasm, it sounds a bit like, like this. A bit more, so it sounds a bit more psychotic, and a bit more evil, and um, he kind of has a stutter as well. So like, uh, I c c kill m my parents because it was fun t to do. And when he's talking about her blood ago, he, he gets excited, so his voice kind of goes higher and higher. The tone kind of goes higher. So then, obviously then, when he's angry, it's kind of a bit deeper. Jane, Toby, I will feed you your own organs. <laughs> and then just kind of like, when he's kind of like sad, it's more like, No, David, don't die. You can die. It kind of goes a bit deeper and it's kind of the, stuttering again that's really like all we need to know for doing Jeffrey Keaton's voice now the laugh is really difficult to do so you gotta kind of do the joker laugh which <clears throat> um, if you're not used to Mayanica laughs this loud it kind of puts pressure on the chest and since it's like 20 past 12 I don't know if I'll do it as loud as I can but the short laughs it's kind of like <sighs> <laughs> um, when he's giggling, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then it gets a bit more like higher toned for the longer laughs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a big, huge laugh. Which I won't do as loud because it's late at night. But it's like I'll cover my mouth when I'm doing this because it gets a bit loud. But it's more like <laughs> it's a bit more like see it puts a pressure on his chest, but it's a bit loud. It's a bit like I don't know how to describe it. It's a bit, it puts pressure on the chest to do, <clears throat> at least for me anyway, and. Uh, it's best to do when there's like no one around because like you can make it louder, you can make it more psychotic, and then if he's like giggling, if he's in like fits laughter, it's more like <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, yeah. I guess that's pretty much it for Jeffrey Keaton's voice. I'm not sure how else to make it sound like. Uh, I have a feeling I'm missing a vital part of it, but I'm 
I'm trying to think, but as far as I know, I can't think of it. Um, so that's pretty much it. My Camel's Joker with Marilyn Manson with an orgasm comes out like this. So it sounds more unique, more on of its own. Now the three parts of Jeff, okay, child Jeff, the voices he's hearing in his head. It's more like, uh, we killed mommy, Jeff. Does that make us b bad? I'm JJ. Then the killer, the other imaginary voice that really makes Jeff aggressive is more like, Go on, pick up that knife, my boy. Become who you were meant to be. So you see, it's really different from Jeff. Because those two voices as well, combined with the Joker and with Marilyn Manson, you know, you get... I suppose it kind of does sound a bit like that. Let me put some pressure on my chest at the moment. But, um... This voice for the, ki the killer is pretty difficult. It's really kind of like a deep... I wouldn't say raspy, because that's more Zolgo, but... It's kind of like a deeper version of Child Jeff. With a small pit, a small bit of normal Jeff's voice. So... It's a bit seductive. I'm no imaginary character, Jeff, nor a figment of your imagination. Shall I tell the kid to fuck off? And, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it for Jeff the Killer. Um, yeah, I, I think I've pretty, like, try it on your own, obviously, but <clears throat> be aware, it does put a bit of pressure on the chest, mainly with the laughing it really does like feel like it's squeezing on you so um that's my only warning to you but um i think that's what i did for the jeff the killer laugh so for the rest of this video i don't know what i'm going to talk about um i suppose jeff's neutral talking is like i said it's just when he talks like this when your mother is fucking old men just so she can have a better crack before the white gas pro. Kind of goes that that tone as well. Um. So yeah. I read to be honest. I, d I did this video just because I felt like doing a video here because I said I would in the previous video. So I, I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Um, I've given the Jeff tutorial. The voice tutorial and uh, I'll do one for laughing, Jack. I suppose I'll, depending on the recording time of this video. Oh wow, we're 8 minutes and 30 seconds already. Alright, um, I'll try laughing, Jacks. If you're trying to do MBK's laughing jack, it's more like Marilyn Manson on its own. And you gotta make your voice a bit squeaky. So it sounds a bit like this. And you gotta stick your voice up, because you know it gets a really bit excited. I just love kids when you're bleeding. It's kinda got a dark side. It's more like an evil genie, laughing jack is. So it was like, um, Hatchets, I think you're the gay one, Toby McGuire. <laughs> the laugh is a bit more clown like since he's a clown. And he does have a more louder laugh. And then he's more like giggling at like <laughs> I, I can't really do it. My voice is too deep, I can't really do it, so um yeah, the Laughing Jack's MBK one is pretty, it's kind of difficult to do, but uh, at the same time, I just love the tide of you bleeding. You kind of make your voice a bit deep as well, and kind of stretch out the sentences like that. 
So it sounds like this. So when you extend your voice, through, um, for example, and plus he does a deep voice. I'm just rambling on here. I just can't really think what I'm saying. But for example, when the blood of Jeff the Killer scene where he's like, Stay back, Jane. I'll kill this man. What's my dick? Obviously, his voice goes deep for those parts, but uh, that was really just for uh, those, those that particular scene. Uh, yeah, and going on to David Near's Laughing Jack, which I think is more accurate. Again, going back to the Joker, Mac Hamill's Joker. Make it a bit deeper. And you get a bit like this. <laughs> That's Laughing Jack. This is the David Near Joker. Laughing Jack, sorry. Laughing Jack. Which is the Laughing Jack I do. So, hello boys and girls. And I'm going to tell you a story set in Mexico. <laughs> I mostly keep the laugh the same, so... Yeah. Probably experiment when you're doing a Laughing Jack voice. Mix different Joker voices together. Uh, change your voice tone, that kind of thing. Um, see what works for you. I find David Neer's one works for me because it's a bit easier. Because you've seen in my any Laughing Jack video I've done, I think I only have like two or three, but... You've always done the voice like this. <laughs> and the laugh. Uh, the laugh is pretty much the same as the previous MBK one and Jeff the Killer. Um, no difference there. So, going on. If you have any questions about any of these voices, uh, just comment below and ask me. Because I can probably explain it to you better then than I can now. <clears throat> so now we're going to go on to my personal favourite, the most fun of all to voice act. Solgo. Solgo is the personification of evil, and pretty much any voice on YouTube I've seen has always has this deep, raspy voice. Lord Jazer was the first I heard, so Lord Jazer, voice actor, sounds like this. Jeffrey, listen closely, and I do mean closely. Beware of the one called Jane. It's a smile dog impression as well. As you can see, it sounds very laughing, Jack, when it's like this. Also more like the Joker. <clears throat> and then you have David Neer's Joker. I keep saying Joker for some reason. Zolgo. David Neer's Zolgo. Which is the easiest, for, personally for me, it's the easiest to do. It's more like, you do a deep voice. And then you make it raspy, so it's like, Child, do not be afraid of evil let it fill your mind with truth to invoke the hive mind representing chaos the nesperdian hive mind of chaos solgo am i obviously if you're doing a a low tone whisper it's kind of easier to do because you get the, the raspiness more on point and then there's the most difficult of all, or the second most difficult for me, Robert Dwyer, who was the best soul go to me. It's more like, it's, there's not even that much of, of a deep voice, it's more like um, The Fallen from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. The Fallen's more like, uh, Now I claim your son! This all go kind of sounds like that, it's more like, um, Sure words, I no longer need it, human. Now feel the power of fear. And, you know, there's also his grand injury was like, I am Salgo. I I behind the walls. No more. That actually has to be the first time I've actually got that voice spot on. So I'm actually quite surprised at that. But anyway, for, uh, I personally try to do 